Hey? Look at that. I think he may have run yet. Come on. <laughs> he, he got him just about standing up. You think he'll take <laughs> off? <laughs> The opening day of the firearm deer season is a holiday for most hunters throughout the Upper Peninsula. And up next on Discovering, I'll give you my story about opening day. It's a whopper. Plus, we'll take a look at a November 14th buck I photographed, one that was sent to just tease me. It was the best of times and it was the worst of times. Hi everybody, Buck Lavasser of Discovering. Welcome to the program and hope you had a good opening day weekend. Uh, sounded like where I was hunting it was pretty successful. Now normally I do some tent camping down in Iron County with some good friends of mine but the circumstances were different this year and we just couldn't all get together. First time in a couple of decades. But some friends offered me a, an opportunity to hunt on some property in Menominee County and I certainly took them up on it and like I said it was the best of times and the worst of times and I'll explain it in just a second but opening day means a lot to folks it means a tremendous amount and usually on opening day I don't really care if I get a buck it's just being in camp and being with all my friends and just having a great time and I think that's what it's all about and certainly that was the case this year as I traveled to Menominee County and hunted on some private property, met some new friends, some terrific guys. We had a great time. And you know, a lot of times I do some work on opening day and this year well, I just kind of laid back and actually did some hunting. The work is yet to come. And we've got a great lineup coming up the rest of November of deer camps and deer stories. And we're gonna have a lot of fun. But let me tell you about my opening day. Again, in Menominee County, I'm sitting on the edge of a, of a beautiful cedar swamp and behind me uh, are a bunch of balsams and I set my, my uh, portable blind up in the balsams. Well, it was about 20 after 8 Eastern time when some does came in. And I had my small video camera and I thought, should I film them? Why not? You know, film a little my opening day. So I got out the camera and I started filming the does when all of a sudden out of the right of my eye, here I see Big Bubba. I'm telling you folks, I have never seen a buck this big on opening day. I have never seen a buck this big in the wild in all the years that I've been doing discovering. This was a fantastic buck and it would rate right up there this year with some of the bucks that we're going to show you in the weeks to come. Well, what happened? Well, the buck came in, he was within 30 yards. I gently put down my camera and I picked up my rifle. Now this is a rifle that I have used. This, this rifle has shot over 20 deer in the last mm, seven, eight years. It's a wonderful gun. Um, it worked good this fall. I took two deer in the early 055 season in Menominee County. Uh, last week when I shot it, it did just perfect. But for whatever reason, it malfunctioned, mechanically malfunctioned. There goes a shot right there. It mechanically malfunctioned when I had in front of me the buck of my life. But I'll tell you what, I was very disappointed that it happened. But I will never regret it because my opening day memories are fantastic and you can't take that away from me. I'll take it to my grave. And I wish I would have got a shot with that video camera. I wish I would have got one shot to show you just how beautiful this buck was. Big, thick beams. Just like I show you every year, when I interview these people that have these bucks, I'm so jealous. And for once in my life, I actually had an opportunity. <laughs> it got blown, but that's deer hunting. And deer camp was fantastic. So I got one exciting thing to tell you about. When, when I arrived at uh, this camp that I stayed at, the night before, I went out and just did a little driving around on some of the county roads and take a look at the buck that I saw. And let me tell you, this buck is nice, but the one that I saw opening day was a lot better.
Well, the big eight-pointer went about his business in a nearby resident's front yard. The rut is still on as this buck was more interested in the doe than my car or camera. Look at that swollen neck. While holding my camera by hand and shooting through the windshield, I'm surprisingly steady considering two major factors. Number one, it's the evening before the opener. And I can't believe this trophy buck is hanging around a house. And number two, this buck is now just a very short distance from where I'll be opening day. Well, the pounding in my heart is very noticeable. And I sort of got an idea of what many of the hunters that I interview go through when that big buck comes into sight. Well, although we saw many does and smaller bucks, only one was taken in our group opening weekend. Ari Hugendorn of Naperville, Illinois bagged an eight pointer, one he thought was a bit bigger when he saw it in the scope. Now, Ari is an experienced hunter who has hunted in many exotic places throughout the world. It was great to hear some of his stories, and some from his old friend, Colonel Bob Wilson, who originally hails from Louisiana. Till next week, have a great week of hunting. We'll see you in Upper Michigan's Great Outdoors.